Falls is facing a cash catastrophe. And tonight, Mayor Paul Deister says he has the fix. But many city residents aren't going to like it at all. It's a disaster budget. The mayor says he needs to lay off workers and raise property taxes, all because a falling out with the state has the Seneca Nation of Indians holding back on the Cataract City's precious share of casino millions. Channel 7's John Borsa has the details in tonight's top story. Meister delivered his 2013 budget proposal one month late because he says he needed more time to crunch the numbers and turn over what he calls a disaster budget. Earlier in the administration, Mayor Paul Deister has no other choice. He's slashing jobs and giving homeowners a tax increase. We've held the line on taxes in every year of my administration, but there comes a time when something has to give. This is that time. The issue, casino slot revenue, is being withheld by the Seneca Nation. It's been three years since the city of Niagara Falls has received a payment. And after barely getting by, Deister is out of options. But we could not have predicted that the state Seneca impasse would continue for three years, draining the city of its reserves and creating a full-blown cash flow crunch warning at the beginning of April of this year. So the mayor is proposing to cut nearly 30 positions from the payroll, 20 of which are filled. There will be no seasonal hires next year, including summer youth recreation workers and lifeguards. And homeowners will see their tax bills go up by 8.3 percent. I'm losing 27, about 27 people. Okay, not one fireman and not one policeman are being touched. That's because the city must maintain current staffing levels in fire and police after receiving federal grants to hire more firefighters and police officers. The layoffs will all come from city workers who plow streets, cut grass, and collect trash. Not one other department was touched. Not one. Next, it'll be up to Niagara Falls City Council to review the mayor's budget and possibly make changes. They don't have a lot of choices, though, and then they'll approve a final spending measure.